Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm gonna show you guys how to get your DAW sound into like Discord, YouTube, Facebook Live, Twitch, and all the other good stuff. And you can do your own like mix sessions and stuff like that. Firstly, you're gonna need these few applications and plugins. The first one is Vox Sango Recorder. So it's totally free, it's for Windows. But the downside is only for it's only for 32 bit. So you need this other software called JBridge. So this JBridge will allow you to wrap the Vox Sango Recorder with the wrapper and you can run it on your 64 bit DAW like Cubase. Then we're gonna need OBS, classic OBS. So OBS is for you to like stream your screen, your webcam, everything to Discord, Facebook, everything. You can even just record a video to make like tutorials like how I'm doing it now. Okay, then next we're gonna need VB audio software, this VB cable, virtual audio device. This one is also free. And lastly, we're gonna need, this one is optional, OBS virtual cam. So OBS Virtual Cam is a plugin for OBS that allows you to use your OBS output as a webcam. So you can just use, use your OBS output, like what you're seeing here, as a webcam for your Zoom, Skype, Discord or anything. Okay, so I'm gonna assume you guys have downloaded everything. All the links will be in the description down below. Okay, so I assume you guys have downloaded everything. The first thing you're gonna do is run JBridger. Next, you're gonna install your Voxango recorder. I have mine installed in C drive slash program files. VST plugin. Just copy the DLL and just place it in the root here. Then go to your JBridger tool. Click this second icon. I'll be using an x64 host. 64 bit host. Then you're gonna uncheck these two boxes. Make sure you have the creating Create bridging files for 32 bit plugins checked. This one is important. Then click this first button over here. Create bridging files inside a directory that I will specify. Next, you just navigate to where you saved your Fox Single Recorder plugin. This DLL. Click OK. Then you can make a subfolder, maybe one that is called JBridge. Then you click OK. For me, I've already done that, so I'm just gonna cancel it. You can see that it will create a Voxango Recorder.64.dll. So, this is the plugin that has been wrapped already. And then we're gonna fire up our DLW. So, I'm using Cakewalk. Cakewalk is a free DLW for Windows. It comes with its own 32 bit wrapper called BitBridge. So, actually, I don't actually need JBridge, but for all you Cubase guys, yep, you're gonna need JBridge to get this working. I'm gonna run a random project. So wait for it to load. In the meantime, we can go check our window sound. Scroll down to the bottom right. Right click the speaker icon. And open sound settings. Then we're gonna open sound control panel. This one takes a while to load, so just be a bit patient. Okay, so the sound control panel is open. We're gonna make sure that the virtual audio cable is enabled. Yep, so virtual audio cable is already enabled. We're not gonna make it default. And we're also gonna make sure that we have Realtek speakers already enabled. If you have the digital one, it's good also. Yep, so we've got everything enabled. And we should see them in our Box and Go recorder. So now we're gonna navigate to our plugin window. Just search for the plugin. Sango recorder. Okay, then we're gonna drop it after the last plugin of our master bus. Then we're gonna change MMB device. Search for the virtual audio cable. This one, speakers VB audio virtual cable. And then we're gonna change output to change from file to MME. Just click once. We're gonna press start. Now we're gonna just play it. I'm just gonna loop a small section of our DAW audio. Then I'm gonna run OBS. Got mine over here. Okay, now we're gonna go into the settings under audio. And for desktop audio, just select speakers VB audio virtual cable. 
and then we're gonna change monitoring device you can just change this to speakers realtek high division audio and you can click apply so now we've got some input coming into desktop audio too click the gear icon and change the advanced audio properties we're going to enable monitoring monitor and output you can basically enable this for any of your audio devices that you want it to be streamed you basically need to enable this only if you want your discord to capture the audio inputs i'm going to lower this first and we're going to turn it up only after when you start streaming okay we're going to go into obs set to a channel now in order to stream the desktop window we have to right click this program window of the obs and click window projector so this creates a window of the exact same output just make that full screen and switch back to our discord now we can stream change this to okay so sometimes you get like all black screen uh, what you can do is just you just need to restart your discord just create your discord run it again okay so now we can stream let's bring this window up make it full screen again go back to our discord and look for window projector so this one and go live okay so you can see now we are streaming whatever is showing on our display this includes like all the plug-in windows and stuff as you can see it will be streamed as well so if you were to actually use discord screen sharing instead it will not be able to send the audio through so the obs method is like a workaround for it and if you actually try streaming straight from cakewalk directly or your door you realize that none of the external plug-in windows are actually being streamed yep even though it's in the same frame none of it is actually being streamed so we have to use this obs output projector window okay so now i'm gonna turn up the audio of the dw and we're gonna go over to our other computer and see if there's actually any audio coming through So now we're going to enter the room with our computer. We're going to watch and join the stream. We're going to turn up our audio. Yep. So you can hear the clear DW audio coming through. You can see the screen and the DW and all the bug windows. Okay. So now that we managed to get the audio going through the Discord, now we can set up a virtual cam to actually use this program output as a webcam footage. So just run, go to Tools, Virtual Cam, and select your target camera, then press Start. So now instead of doing a live stream, we can set OBS as our webcam. So as you can see here, our webcam is now showing what's on OBS instead. So you can just enable a video cam and it'll still be like a webcam instead of a live stream. Yep, so that's about it. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like and find this tutorial useful, just give us a thumbs up and maybe just subscribe to our channel over there. And maybe we will post more tutorials and yeah, feel free to leave like some suggestions on what kind of tutorials you would like to see as well. Then thanks.